Welcome to this tutorial on the exec timeout command. When you log into a switch or a router, there is a command interpreter and it waits for you to enter a command. And if you do, it interprets it and it does what you want. But if you don't do anything, at some point in time, it times out and it says, well, there's nothing going on. I'm going to close this session. The exact timeout command gives you the ability to determine what that timeout interval is. So how much time can you do nothing on the switch or the router before it kicks you out? The default time is 10 minutes. And you can see here the exact timeout, you have minutes and seconds. The seconds part is optional, but the minutes is required. And so we know it sets the interval length, and this is a line configuration mode command. So it applies to the console, the VTY, uh, portions of the configuration. And at this point, we should just jump into some configuration examples to check it out. Okay, we're at a command line prompt at a router. And keep in mind, the exact timeout command works on routers and switches. So the first thing we want to do is check out our running config. And again, we're interested in the line portion of the configuration. So we see line console zero and line VTY. And aside from the password and login, no configurations have been added here. So we know the default is 10 minutes, but if we didn't know that, or if we were just curious, a command we can issue is show terminal. And this gives information on your session or a session. You can see right here, one of the things it tells us is the default timeout value or the configured timeout value. Here we see idle exec 10 minutes. So we're, we're confirming what we know, 10 minute default timeout. Another interesting thing here is the time since activation. That tells you the total length of your session. So for me, it's been 22 minutes and 35 seconds since at the time I issued this command, and obviously it's still growing. So there's a bunch of other stuff on here as well, but those are the two main points applicable to the exec timeout command. So we know the default, we know how long my session is, but what about idle time? How do we figure that out? A command you can use is show users. And what it does is, is, does is it's going to tell you everyone on the router or the switch currently. So you can see there are two sessions right here. And the asterisk on the left tells me that's my session. So I'm line 6, VTY0. And my idle time is all 0. Why? Because I just issued the command show users. And every time you issue a command, your idle time gets set back to zero, and then it starts incrementing. If it gets to the timeout time, then you get kicked out. You can see line 7, VTY1, has an idle time of 4 minutes and 2 seconds. That's another session I have opened in another window. When that gets to 10, then we know what happens. So this is a useful command. It tells you who's on the box. It also tells you where they're coming from. The 10.10.10.5, that's the IP address of each user, where they're telnetting or SSHing in from. So let's make some configuration changes. We'll jump into configuration mode and let's make the first change on our VTY sessions. So we'll 0 through 4 and the command exec timeout our uh, question mark do you can see so you can see the first parameter which is minutes let's make it high let's make it 20 minutes and the second parameter again this is optional is is seconds so i'll make it 30 seconds just to have something in there so let's go ahead and confirm what we've done if we take a look again at our running config you can now see under the line vty we have exec timeout 20 minutes 30 seconds if we didn't have access to the show run command we could issue the show terminal command again and here we see our timeout for idle exec is now 20 minutes and 30 seconds. It's been changed. And that's pretty much it. There's one more thing we should cover, and that is, let's say you don't want your session to timeout ever. What do you do then? Well, um, no, no matter what number you put in there, you will eventually reach that number, you know, 50 hours, 100 hours. So there's a useful thing you can do. And we'll demonstrate this on the line console. If you issue the exact timeout command, but instead of putting any number for the minute and the seconds, you put zero for each. And it'll actually show up like that in your running configuration. So you see line console zero, exec timeout, zero, zero. 
That means anybody consoled into this router will never be timed out. And you can do that on the VTYs if you want it as well. However, keep this in mind. Since they will never be timed out, if everyone logs in and fills up the number of VTYs you have, and you can see here on this router we have five, zero through four, no one else will be able to log in because no one will ever get kicked out. The router or the switch won't be able to free up VTY sessions for new users. So if you're okay with that, fine, but if you have a bunch of people logging in, they all go home, and unless the client side of the Telnet or SSH kills the session, the router or switch never will. And you could lock everyone else out because there are just no more available uh, VTY sessions. So keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it, folks. That is the exec timeout command with a few, a few show run, show users, and show terminal commands to uh, help get some information. Thanks for watching.